Hi guys, welcome back to the uh, second part of the tutorial. The first part, we're doing the introduction requirements, just a brief walkthrough. Hey, if you didn't see, it was a good introduction. Maybe you should check it out before you proceed with this one. And if you already seen it, well and good. And don't forget to subscribe if you didn't subscribe after the first video. Like the video, yeah. And share, yeah. Someone said sharing is caring, so yeah, let's share, right? So, in this tutorial, we're going to uh, go through <coughs> go through the tutorial, the FPDF library tutorial. Yeah, they already have it. Yeah, they already have uh, the tutorial, so you just going to use the same, same tutorial. And as I said, if you Google FPDF, it is online, and if it's not. I will share it on the github and if I forget please don't in the comment remember to share the link where you can get it right great so uh, let's proceed so I already show you new in the uh, previous video the first part here yeah? how to use them the file structure and it is here yeah? the same 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 okay so fpdf pdf file and in the, the tutorial fpdf tutorial is under this folder so we're going to go through it PDF. uh this minimal example header footer break and image we're just going to go briefly yeah just to walk through with you but it's easy it's self-explanatory and you're going to love it okay so let's start with the minimal example yeah so we already know what this is in PHP required this means we're going to use the file fpdf.php and I sh did show you where that file is here this one.php file right which has uh, already defined functions and also we're going to call this function fpdf function if we go through it maybe we'll find that function but it's gonna take us the time yeah maybe we search it yeah? Is it, is it, is it, is it? You see it? Did you see it? Yeah, class FPDF. Yeah. You see, we're going to you're going to use that class FPDF, yeah. And then you're going to use um, you created a variable, or you already know all this. Sorry, I'm repeating myself. So, um, going to use add page. Uh, next we're going to use the send font which font are you going to use the font name will it be bold italic underline blah 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 if it's you don't want anything you just leave it blank yeah instead of a b just put the two uh, the quotes with nothing and the font size yeah then we use the cell to t define where it's going to be yeah the x axis and the y axis then the word or whatever you want you want it to be printed then finally we call it the output mm, there's a demo here very quick you can see it add a duplicate yeah with a numbered file right so download open and boom this is what we have so it was bold it was arial and it is from 16 see that easy right yeah that's what i thought too right so uh, if you go through here it was explained almost everything that is there right like if you want it to be an a4 a5 you see the millimeters and everything they have been specified there setting the margins setting the forms aerial uh the cell cannot print with the cell no from how far from uh right how far from left yeah no it's being used using the function called a cell right so that's that's a very quick example so let's go to the second tutorial which uh, will make more uh, sense again we do the same pdf extensive pdf yeah function header now we're going to divide our 
all file into three um, into three sections the header the body and the footer the header i'm going to put it like the logo like i did show show it to you the other time the header is going to have like the logo maybe the name of the one who paid some details you know contact details the company name the event name you know and blah 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 then the body is going to have the details payment details location addresses and contact maybe you know and then um, the footer is going to be like a copyright you know the com the event organizer's name you know rsb or more information so here's the page header function header this image logo.png you know like here we're not going uh the, this is how you add an image you, know? you see the image location so this is the location of the image you know and this is where you want it to be positioned the same same thing the font type font size where there is it, the whole thing will be position and the title like for example the event name same 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 about the cell you should check more details about the cell what all these means all these variables are supposed to give it yeah and the then you and it return there yeah? uh then we go to the footer the footer here uh it's just the same it depends with your your uh design how you're going to design that receipt how you want it to be seen so what do you want to include in the footer is it your uh, the partners is it your your name your contact blah blah depends with what you want to be printed yeah then this is how you instantiate it yeah the same same like it was in the other one yeah um printing line blah 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 and output right let's check the demo right exactly so this is what it is you see th this is the logo this is where the title is and this is everything that we have printed goes to page one page two you see page two two very automated and everything is right on time yeah in place and how you want it to be so that's basically you can see there yeah? make sure uh, you can go through the header how the description and everything being uh, described you know the footer the same way and all of this set why auto breaks i mean you can make it more colorful the way you want it to be designed that's basically about the footer page break and image yeah let's see line breaks and colors yeah the same same header global title aerial get string with no blah 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 draw color set color field you see all these variables they already de defined so you'll just go through them and one by one when you're designing and what kind of a design you want you know uh like for this one it has been set to italic yeah and font 8 and the same same things text color it's in number form you see yeah these are very important things one by one once you put this code down and you change one by one you'll be noticing the differences you know once you see the differences you'll know where so the title here is the title 2000 links under the sea set title to that title all the you know train chapter run away and blah, blah blah then open let's see what they have for us wow blah 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 see i it's easy right it's easy and fun actually that's the best part of it it's easy and it's fun so that's when the line breaks colors multiple columns just the same it's the same yeah the good thing is there is uh, 